What's up everybody, I'm here, this is Lito again, bringing you another video on uh, Clash of Clans, this one about the update. Everybody's pretty uh, frustrated that the Super Queen has been uh, extinct, um, they can't really farm Dark Elixir like they did, and they got so accustomed to this method that they know nothing else. I mean... I understand that other strategies maybe aren't viable, like people going around now destroying your base using um, golems and witches and stuff like that. Like, you're wasting as much Dark Elixir as you're getting. I get it. Now, um, if you're not trying to barge around and uh, or jai barge, um, I'm here to tell you that the Super Queen is still viable. It's just not the same at all, and you have to be a lot more careful. Here I got my guys <laughs> complaining about the update. Let's see what he said. Uh, more people attack. They said, I see your fucking face. <laughs> All right. But yeah, it's, it's definitely, like I said here, it's definitely harder to farm, but it's still doable. I'm going to show you a few attacks here. Here's my defense log. I'm, yeah, I get raped every now and then. But um, here's my attacks. I'm going to pull out this attack. I don't remember what happened. Okay, this base here. I remember what I did. Now, when you send out the queen, um, well, first let me start with the army comp composition. I cut it down from eight healers to four. They say the max is six, and then you start dealing with heavy diminishing returns. But to be honest, after four, the fifth one is pretty much um, almost useless. You get such little benefit that it's not worth it to even use it. I bring five in case an air defense destroys a healer because you remember using the super queen before you lose a healer or two it really didn't matter because you had so many and by then all, almost all the defenses are gone so you probably don't even need the one that gets killed but um now i bring an extra one just in case now as you can see here i sent out the queen and i sent a bunch of archers immediately to help her destroy stuff quicker because she with four healers can only tank about um two defenses and an expo if a Tesla comes up, forget about it. You're going to need a, a, a Rage spell. Um, you're pretty much almost always going to need a Rage spell in every raid. So just keep one handy. Um, sometimes two. A Jump spell, you might only need one. Um, I only bring... Well, I only I started only bringing eight wall breakers. I think I had more than eight here. I think I had 11. Um, and that's why you see me using them so much. Uh, I try to use them with the Rage tip there to get her towards the um, Dark Elixir. But that was a little bit of a fail. Once I saw her straying off this way, I sent giants and archers to help destroy these defenses there so that she doesn't die. I wasn't worried about time because now with the extra time we have, um, you have a better chance of getting the Dark Elixir anyway in the Town Hall. So, um, you know, that, that wasn't an issue. I just needed to get her in there. Um, again, back to the army composition. The five healers, about eight wall breakers. Um, I bring 12 giants and that's only to help create the funnel and help her destroy defenses before she approaches them Because like I said two defenses on the next boat and she starts going down So, you know, you don't have unlimited rages. So you want to kind of preserve them as well So, you know, they're, they're for emergencies only whenever, uh, you know, she starts getting into trouble You got to keep track of her health. It's a lot harder than before you really have to pay attention to what she's about to run into to anticipate all the damages and um you know you should be able to keep her up now um what else do i have i have two poisons just to keep my raids going you know I, I train one poison all the time and if i don't have one trained i'm able to start another raid without it if it's not ready yet um because of the fact that somebody donated me one um i also you know tend to donate them when people ask so um what else do I have here? I think that's about it for the army composition. As you guys saw in this attack, um, she was dying um, towards the end. And the air defenses took care of all the healers. So I just popped the ability to get the dark elixir and ended the raid. We're going to look at another one here. This one, I forget uh, what happened. Also, uh, I don't even remember my entry point here. Where did I drop her? Okay, I came from the top because it was the closest to the dark elixir. This is the, the kind of bases that you want to look for now after the update. Um, well, you did notice I dropped five uh, healers by mistake. I only meant to drop four. And that was because I thought I had archers selected and I dropped that last healer. But um, the bases you want to look for are the ones that have uh, the defenses separated. Separated enough to where the queen might only be getting hit by two at the, uh, simultaneously. 
um, anything more like I said she'll start dying you see here I got really close to letting her die and uh, I, I threw the rage I should have done it quicker but worked out um, again you know sending the Giants those Giants weren't necessary because the defense is already targeting the Queen but um, sending the Giants to you know take care of the defenses before she approaches them um, trying to alleviate some of the damage so that to, to avoid the need of the um, the rage spell uh, I didn't even notice the expo targeted my healers at this point so what see a whole bunch of Teslas there I anticipated the Teslas being there so I sent Giants beforehand before the Queen even got in there just so that she doesn't start taking heavy damages because again Teslas do the worst to a Queen now you know, you get a Tesla and one defense is on the queen. One defense on the queen. Any defense with a Tesla, you're gonna start seeing your health drop, especially with an expo too. So um, again, you know, bases you want to look for is separated defenses. Hopefully, try to get an entry point where you're not um, encountering both expos at the same time, um, because they they tend to, like as you see here with the four healers, just the two expos are taking her down little by little. So if you add another defense to that, that's it. She's going down. Um, and yeah, this is pretty much the gist of it. You wanna, you wanna just get in there, find the closest path to the t um the uh, uh, dark elixir storage. Um, if you get the town hall with it, it's it's a bonus, and and you obviously you want to because the town hall now holds um you know a fourth or what is it a fourth or a fifth of the dark elixir that's in the base. So just, just find the quickest path to the town hall in the dark elixir and then just leave. I, I stayed extra here for the extra percentages and to get extra from the bonus. But I understand not everybody's in um, masters. People, you know, are doing this in gold or, or silver or or, um, or crystal even where maybe it's not uh, worth it that much to, you know, have the queen um, die or take too much damage just to get the bonus. Um, I did it. I'm, I think I remember I was gonna have extra shield time or whatever so I you know it was just a choice I made but you don't really have to um, you know just get your dark elixir and get out and just try to get at least one star for the bonus if you're up here um, let me just end the, the um, replay there you know you cut you guys kind of get it. I'm gonna show one more the latest one that I did recently you saw that 16 minutes ago I felt like this went pretty well and it was a nice find Probably they're gonna f not f gonna find this everywhere. Um, it's really easy. The first thing I did was just pick off that uh, outside uh, dark elixir drill, and then I went in from the other dark elixir drill because I saw that it had some, uh, you know, dark elixir inside the drill. I want to definitely take advantage of that. So there I go, the queen and, and her four healers. Um, I start sending the archers to create the funnel. Um, I believe, yeah, I created a funnel towards that cannon also. I wanted to uh, send a giant there, which I don't, I think ended up not being needed. I opened the, the way for her to go into the middle of the base. The wall breaker, I didn't even send a giant, okay. Alright, so now I was a little bit scared because I knew there was a Tesla where that king is walking right now. Um, the, expo were gonna, the expo was going to hit her. I wasn't sure if the queen was going to engage at the same time as the giant. Um, I, I just, and, and I wasn't sure if the archer towers on the top and bottom were going to engage also. So I was kind of worried, but I was, I had, I was floating my thumb around the uh, rage spell just, just in case. Here I, I ended up popping her ability too soon. Um, dropped the poison for the king, slowed down the hits, and I wanted to drop the rage, but I tapped her ability by mistake. Um, so okay, you know, no big deal. Send some giants in um, to distract the expo as she went in because I was getting ready to drop the jump. Um, oh, another thing you guys gotta t uh, be very careful when you use these giants. Again, my goal when I send giants is to take care of defenses before the queen gets to them. Um, that's their only, their only priority and their only goal. You don't want to send the giants where the queen is going all the time like I did here. This was very dangerous. You don't want to send them where she's going because what will happen is that if they get ahead and she's not taking damage anymore, the healers will switch to the giants, keeping them up long enough for her to just stray off by herself and die. So you don't want to do that. You want to send the giants only 
to uh, tank defenses before the queen arrives and, and hopefully get them destroyed uh, with your archers. You don't want to send them ahead of her. Um, so, you know, as you guys saw, I got lucky. She almost died. Some of the healers did switch to the giants. I, I think that's what happened. And um, here I got the town hall. I got the dark elixir. I'm looking at my 36% damage. I knew it was going to be a hard time. It, it was going to take a lot just to get to 50%. And I already had used my ability and a rage spell. So it, I, I was either going to fail or it just wasn't going to be worth it. So I ended up just ending the raid there. 3,568 Dark Elixir. And I ended up getting like 500 and something from the bonus. Uh, 4,000 Dark Elixir earned here. Which is not bad at all. This is great. This is what you always want to go for. And uh, yeah. You know pretty much guys. The uh, AQ or KQ walk or super queen, whatever you guys call it, is not dead. Um, it's just that she's not so super anymore. She's not invincible. Um, so, you know, maybe you guys can come up with another name. I'll try to come up with another name. Um, but yeah, she's no longer the invincible queen with eight healers. People used to bring eight healers because, you know, you figure a healer per defense will keep the queen up long. Well, two healers will keep her up against the defense. One healer. Will keep her up at a decent for a decent amount of time against one uh, defense. So you figure eight healers will protect her against seven defenses, and that's why you could pretty much walk her anywhere in the base, and she wouldn't die with eight healers. But now, um, four healers are pretty much good enough to tank. Uh, like like I said before, two defenses in an expo, or ju or just two defenses. Four healers will help her tank two defenses without a problem. Um, you add an expo and she's going to start dropping l a little bit. You add anything else after an expo and two defenses and you're going to lose her if she doesn't have a rage spell. So there it is, guys. Just, um, you know, again, bring your four healers and extra one in case one dies. And, uh, you know, enough archers and giants to uh, help her t mitigate some of the defenses before she arrives. Um, hope you guys learned something from here. Um, I know... You know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Power Bang, and he has a video where he talks about that the um, Super Queen is still viable, but he still brings the eight healers. Um, you know, that's my that's my uh, idol when it comes to attacks. You know, I, I watch almost all of his videos. Um, I'm hoping he watches this and considers the fact that you only need about four. Anything else, you're just pretty much wasting space, I feel like, um, where you could bring other things to help her, you know, achieve your goal. Um, I know it, it, it is a fact that you if you put extra on her, because I think six is the quote-unquote cap. I know if you put extra on her, you know, it'll help a little bit. But I think the benefit that you get from bringing the archers and the giants are more than, um, you know, just having the extra heals that, are, that don't really help much. So, again, thank you for watching if you stay till the end. And, uh... Good luck doing this. I mean, it, it, it does take some skill, but you could get it done.